Hi students, how are you? Welcome to our video for today, for the week. And this week is story time. Last week we had some poems, but this week we're back to stories. And this looks like a really beautiful story. The story is called Ling's Paintbrush. Here, I'm reading it here from my book, but I will put the pictures up for you over here so you can follow along. I think the, the pictures are very beautiful. The artwork is beautiful, these paintings. So this story is called Ling's Paintbrush and it is a traditional Chinese folktale adapted by a woman named Libby Williams. You ready? Let's go. Ling loves painting, but he can't paint. He does not have time. He works all day. He takes care of his cows. One night, Ling has a dream. In his dream, he sees a woman. The woman gives him a paintbrush. Use this paintbrush to paint things to help people, she says. My cat is right here. <laughs> My cat came for story time. <laughs> All right, let's continue. In his dream, Ling sees a boy walking under the sun. The boy is hot and tired. Ling asks, what do you need? The boy answers, I need a place to rest and I need something to eat. Ling paints a tent. He also paints a basket full of fruit. Now you can rest and eat inside the tent, says Ling. The boy is happy now. Thank you, Ling, he says. Then Ling sees many people next to a dry river. They're holding empty pots. They're thirsty. Ling asks, what do you need? The people say, we need water. So Ling paints the river. The people fill their pots and start drinking the water. They are happy now. Thank you, Ling, the people say. Suddenly, an old man steals the paintbrush. The old man tries to paint gold coins, but he can't. Ling says, you can only use the paintbrush to help people. That's why you can't paint gold coins. The man says, I want gold. Gold can make me rich and happy. I'm a very sad man. You don't need gold to be happy, says Ling. Then he says, I have an idea. Ling paints food. Then Ling and the old man give the food to the people they see on the street. The people start eating and they are happy. Thank you, Ling. Thank you, old man, they say. And Ling, he looks at the old man and he asks, are you happy now? Yes, I like helping people, says the old man. Ling wakes up from his dream. He feels happy. I helped many people in my dream. To be happy in life, I have to help real people too. Mm, that is such a beautiful story. Did you like it? Did you like the story? I hope so. I have some questions for you in class and we can talk about the story together if you have any questions. So that is our video for today and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in class. Bye guys.